Right into our WDSU first warning weather, and you can see that we are finally starting to clean things up on St. Charles Avenue tonight. Everything winding down there, Bourbon Street still going strong. But as we look at the satellite imagery, a few high in the sky clouds rolling over could play an impact on temperatures. And we'll see what we did for highs today. It was a little bit interesting there, too. When the warmest spots were in the North Shore, the coolest spots were along the coast. Let's go in and get back home, and then we'll check out those highs today. And as we see those, again, it was mid-60s here for the North Shore that we'll find here in just a little bit. With those highs into the North Shore here today, it was mid-60s. And then 60 right around here in New Orleans, but then the mid-50s along the coast where we held on to thicker clouds for a better part of the day. So a little unusual, kind of backwards, I'd call it, where it's usually warmer south and cooler north. Real-time temperatures were working 40s to the 53 officially here in New Orleans. 41 already in Hammond. Notes that even those high, thin clouds not doing a whole lot to keep those temperatures from falling rapidly. And we're going to be into the 30s and a bit frosty North Shore tomorrow. System to drop severe storms in the days past and then gusty winds yesterday dropped a foot of snow in parts of New England. Chilly starts in the morning, nice afternoon, then warmer as we head into Thursday before thicker clouds arrive and then the next rain chance comes too. You know, this has been a going forecast all the way since December, but another bout of potentially weekend rain. 33 in Bogalusa will give us some frost in the morning hours if you get that chilly. Could have some upper 30s to around 40 in the coolest spots in the South Shore to get things going here. Ash Wednesday, if you're getting ashes in the morning hours, it's chilly. Temperatures mid to upper 40s, we're up to 52 at about 9. And then we're looking at a few clouds throughout the day, but not much to keep temperatures from getting into the mid 60s. Remember, it's Valentine's Day too. Your Valentine's dinner forecast, not too bad. Probably not going to want to be on the porch unless you got a heater. 62 to 58 to 54, even then it's a bit crisp. We're probably indoors with your honey, treating it to a nice Valentine's Day. Mariners forecast for Wednesday, no worries whatsoever. We've gotten rid of all the winds. Recent kind of minimum in tidal range is starting to increase. Southwest Pass is at least a foot in that tidal range. We see a few more clouds streaming in on Thursday. I'm going to call that mostly cloudy skies, but despite those clouds, we're still warming up to about 70. But here's the rain and the timing. A few more clouds going to overcast on Friday. Chance of an isolated shower. But after we get past sunset, that's the likelier round of steady rain. And temps down a bit, we're to mid 60s. And the rain chances increase Friday evening, going overnight Friday into Saturday. Saturday may be kind of miserable if it's going to be a breezy, cloudy, rainy, and cold day. Some indications that rain ends earlier. Maybe we break out some suns, sunshine before sunset. But the confident forecast is for more sunshine going into Sunday. But the temperatures will be considerably cooler before we warm back up. So just to say we've got several days to come before the rains here. So enjoy your Ash Wednesday, Valentine's Day, the beginning of Lent. WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast to mid 60s tomorrow near 70 even with more clouds on Thursday. Then it's overcast on Friday, the overnight rain into Saturday, but then the colder air, the sunshine and then the warm up right back into next week.